I would say the most common patient in here is your migraine and headache patient. And these people range, unfortunately, in age from, you know, 10 or 15. Uh, I've had, I've had uh, four-year-olds with, with migraines that we did fix, which is great. But you have these kids that come in with headaches and migraines at 10 years old, 12 years old, 15 years old, um, that just ruining their lives. And I mean seriously, out of school, things like that. I just had a patient, um, really great, great young girl. She was about 15, and she just wasn't even able to attend school because the migraines were so bad. She also had scoliosis on top of that, which complicated it. And it took about three or four months of care, but now every time she comes in, she's smiling. Her affect or her facial expression is always through the roof. She's, uh, she's having a great time. She's back in school. She's doing wonderful. The area of the migraine compression occurs right here. This is the back of the skull, the back of your head. And you can see these nerves in here. Uh, what you're not seeing is all the blood vessels and muscles. Um, but they're obviously there, kind of imagine them to be there. So you get compression in this region, and these vertebrae become approximated, closer together. The muscles tighten, and the blood vessels and nerves that are traveling forward on your scalp are compressed and irritated. And so you get the migraineous symptoms. And what happens is also you get a compensations in other parts of the spine. This is the neck, or the cervical spine. And then you start to get rotations in the thoracic spine and the ribs, which often occur uh, with the oxygen issue. I mean, what's, not, what's not seen here are the ribs, but what they do is they wrap around from the thoracic spine or the upper back, or at this level, they wrap around and they become tightened in reducing lung expansion and oxygenation. And as we know, if you can't expand your lungs, you can't get oxygen in or CO2 out. If you can't get oxygen in, you can't deliver it. So like I said before, those blood vessels constrict to try to get blood up and they have to reflexively dilate. And that's what gives you the migraine. So if you fix that component of oxygen and you fix the component of the occipital compression, no more migraine. It's pretty cool.